Okay, let's have a look at example six now. So a random sample of 12 students is taken to see whether there is a linear relationship between height in centimeters and shoe size. The data collected is shown in the table, okay? So again, I'm not gonna type in the data in front of you, that's just insulting you. I, you data, you can type that in now. Um, it's interesting that the question mentions a linear relationship. Um, it is only appropriate to use the Pearson's product moment if there is a linear relationship. Um, there are other types of relationship and more appropriate tests, and we're going to look at those next time. Um, but it says, okay, so plot the data points from the scatter diagram, comment on the correlation, explain why it's appropriate to find the regression line, find the regression line, draw the line, blah, 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 blah. So here's your data. Um, let's uh, plot the data, okay? So insert data and statistics. Um, we've got our independent variable is height. Let's say uh, shoe size is dependent on the height of the person rather than the other way around. Um, and we get this. So intuitively, we would anticipate that the taller you are, the bigger the shoe size. Um, and then we look at the data and we can say, yeah, it looks like we could model that with a linear um, a linear as a linear relationship. Uh, but if we want to be more certain, let's go back here and... Um, Let's do menu, statistics, stat calculation, and let's just do the linear regression. Later it says find the regression line, so let's just do that now. Um, our x data independent variable is height, then we got y is our shoe size, and it tells us that um, our gradient, our y intercept, but these are the two values that I'm actually interested in. If I want to say why is it appropriate to find the regression line, well, here, this is telling us that we've got a positive correlation, and then our R squared value is telling us that we've pretty much got a strong positive correlation. If these two numbers are low, near zero, or less than 0.5, it might not be appropriate um, to represent them as a linear regression. Okay, so it's because of these two values, I would suggest that um, it is appropriate to draw a regression line. So we found the regression line, uh, and it says that y equals 0.154x plus 12.0. Um, and it says, hence estimate the shoe size. Well, I'm just going to go back to our diagram. I'm going to have a look at what it looks like on our diagram. So we're going to do the regression line. Um, we're going to do the linear. Okay, so when we look at that, there's obviously some values at the extremes that are a little bit further away. We've got this person down here that seems to have a particularly small shoe size for the height, or this person that's got quite, a, well, they're quite tall, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but you can see that the spread, the the, the R squared values coming in here. These dots are not in a really good straight line. So, um, hence estimate the shoe size of a student who is 163 centimeters tall. So. When we've done linear regression, when we've done our y on x regression line, what that is doing is it's minimizing the vertical error, okay? So we're minimizing the error in y. So when it says estimate the shoe size, let's do that. We can input a um, calculator. We're going to use the regression lines 0, 0.1.54 times by, uh, they're 163 centimeters tall, and we then have to add 12. That tells us that their shoe size should be 37, um, or we would anticipate that it's 37. Why is it a valid process? Well, when we look at our data set again, if we go to our heights, we have 100, so 163 does lie between our lowest value, which is like 160, yeah, and our highest value, which is 180. It's interpolation. So because it's within our data set, it is appropriate to say, the model fits. Okay, so why is it so? E, why is it not reliable to use a regression line of y and x to estimate the shoe size of somebody who's 150 centimeters tall? Well, 150 centimeters tall is extrapolation. It's outside our data set and therefore is less reliable. Um, and then F, explain why it's not appropriate to use the regression line of y on x to estimate the height of a student whose shoe size is 38. Well, for that I need this doc no sorry this document so here we've got our height we've got our shoe size so because we've done our y on x it is appropriate to go from our x value to our y we have minimized the error in y but 
it's not appropriate to go this way because we haven't minimized the error in X. What we would have to do is a different regression line, but that's beyond the scope of this course. So um, it's not appropriate because we, we minimize the error in Y.